Michael Jackson Skinner, he's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's panning into the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie. I'll be in touch. Software for you. Ah, excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. rock band with a classic.
So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and drop the ass off where he needs to go. I got it. Good. Oh, one mm -hmm. thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Sorry I'm late, it's my first day on the job. I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. Late, late, late. That'd be one fit. Mr. Penny, I ain't even found. Forget about it. Spent thrips. Anyone home?
Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto, I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Solar of Orion, two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. I love you already! <laughs> Hey, Solomon, I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God, no. Is that an option? No, 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 bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set, ideally in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get them out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Executive have been killed. Markets are reacting to that and other news. Buy my book. In stock market news, Fruits share price is on the rise following the murder and possible anti assassination of the Sonic's head of product development, Jackson Skinner. The company promised to keep making their word processing software less useful with each iteration. I'm Carl Kelly with this money report. Trading was heavy today, as indices and reports indicate ride for people hell-bent on gambling on the future of American businesses who pay little taxes, take massive exemptions, and get bailouts when things get tough. Thankfully, we report on select...
Mr. Richards has been worried sick. Oh, who's this? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So now they're going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, this guy's all mine. <laughs> 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 people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the line. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm a solid assistant. Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Well, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Hey, Mr. Madrazo, how's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Puerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look, Franklin, I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy, Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. OK. I'll have my people messenger him.
What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work? This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink with you. Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. It's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. <laughs> so, what did you tell him about me about? Martin Madrazzo. Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, uh, some people. <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met him, Michael. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. But his friendship means nothing these days. Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I had a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's up, eh? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want to drink? Not now! Peneca! Get away, because I want to go to the king. All right, you grab a vehicle, something personal. I'll handle the gun. All right! You need anything? Get me on the headset.
Trevor, Trevor, ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. 